While the Indian Air Force is charting out a retirement plan for its older fighter jets, the focus is back to expedite the 114 MRFA program. A military analyst has said that the selection would depend on several factors, that includes new advancements in technologies, new geopolitical shifts, but one of the most important criteria will be jet engine technology. India has already invested a large amount of capital to build infrastructure for the Rafale aircraft and French firm Dassault Aviation have recently signed an agreement to integrate Indian-developed air-to-air and air-to-ground weapons on the Rafale aircraft, thus giving it an edge over its competitors in the $20 billion MRFA deal. Russia has offered an India-specific Su-35, that would reportedly surpass the Chinese Su-35, and while it is a good option for India in terms of compatibility maintenance and upgrades, experts have said that the Su-35 proposal might not meet delivery targets, mainly due to Western sanctions on the Russian defense industry, and a heavily disrupted supply chain. Experts also said, that in the end, India's decision would be partly political, partly technical, and partly based on ramping up the domestic defense ecosystem. Cochin Shipyard Limited will complete the installation of 100 km range Barak 8 long-range surface-to-air missile system and the MF Star Multifunctional Digital Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar on INS Vikrant this month. INS Vikrant will also be integrated with 50 km range vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile for intercepting sea-skimming aerial threats to the aircraft carrier. <laughs> Delhi-based company AeroSense Technologies is collaborating with Bharat Electronics for its tethered UAV, which has the potential to be used for surveillance and electronic warfare. Bharat Electronics has integrated its jammers into the tethered UAV, and it will now be tested by the Indian Army this month. The UAV can fly at a height of 100 meters, and can operate at temperatures between minus 15 degrees Celsius and 55 degrees Celsius, and as there is no issue of endurance for a tethered UAV, it can provide round-the-clock surveillance from a range of 10 kilometers, and also detect hostile UAVs at a range of 20 kilometers based on radio frequency signals. Kaliani Strategic Systems has won an order to supply nearly 100 units of Mark 155mm 39 caliber mounted gun systems to Armenia, and latest reports indicate that the Mark variant that will be supplied to Armenia will be a steel version, that weighs about 6.8 tons and can hit targets at 30 km range. Kaliani Strategic Systems has already delivered one MOG truck mounted howitzer to the Indian Army for internal trials, and the Indian Army is expected to place orders in 2023, that has been developed for high-altitude operations. India and Russia are trying to find a workaround, as larger payments to Russia still remains an issue, of which defense deals account for a large part. The foreign ministers of India and Russia have discussed the matter, and some modifications with regard to payments is now expected very soon. In some cases while deliveries had been made by Russia, the payments are yet to be cleared. Rupee ruble payments are not solving the issue, as rupees are accumulating on the Russian side due to the trade imbalance. At a time when Tato Advanced Systems is building a new facility to manufacture Airbus C-295 aircraft in India, Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer has said, that discussions are progressing well with potential partners in India, on a selection of partnering options for the next generation turboprop aircraft including manufacturing. The 90-seat next-generation turboprop aircraft project will be launched in 2023, and will enter service by 2028.